The Galaxy S26 Ultra has become a hot topic again after new leaks compared it to the Galaxy S25 Ultra and Apple's upcoming iPhone 17 Pro Max, popular leaker. Ice Universe shared photos showing the screen protectors of all three phones side by side, giving a good idea of what Samsung's next Ultra model might look like. From the looks of it, the S26 Ultra will mix old and new design ideas to create something more refined. The first noticeable change is the shape of the corners. The Galaxy S26 Ultra seems to have slightly rounder corners than the S25 Ultra. Samsung appears to be moving away from the sharp, box-like design that made the S25 Ultra look a lot like the old Galaxy Note phones. But don't expect it to look too soft. The corners won't be as curved as those on the iPhone. 17 Pro Max, Samsung seems to be aiming for a middle ground between sharp and round. The leaks also show that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will be a bit taller and wider than its predecessor. Reports suggest it measures 163.4 mm in height and 77.9 mm in width, compared to 160.8 mm and 77.6 mm on the S25 Ultra. These small changes might not sound like much. But users will likely notice the difference when holding the phone. The screen size will stay at 6.9 inches, but Samsung is expected to make the bezels thinner to keep it looking sleek. Aside from the front design, the back of the phone is also changing. According to reports, Samsung plans to make the device thinner overall, but the new camera setup could make the top part slightly thicker. Leaks suggest the company will use a pill-shaped camera module that combines three of the four rear lenses, replacing the old vertical design. This gives the phone a cleaner, more modern look. Interestingly, the S26 Ultra might even weigh less than the S25 Ultra, around 217 grams, making it easier to handle. While these updates might sound small, they all add up to a device that looks more polished. The S26 Ultra won't be a complete redesign, but the mix of smoother corners, slimmer body, and updated camera layout should make it feel fresh and premium. Of course, design isn't the only focus. Inside, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to come with major upgrades. It will likely use either the new Exynos 2600 or the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 for Galaxy, depending on the region. These chips promise faster speeds, better energy efficiency, and improved AI performance. Samsung is also said to be working on enhanced camera sensors and new eye-powered photography tools that can automatically adjust lighting, focus, and color to produce professional-looking photos. However, all these upgrades could come at a higher price. Component costs have reportedly gone up, making it hard for Samsung to keep prices the same. The Galaxy S25 Ultra already starts at around $1,299, and if Samsung raises the price again, some customers might hesitate to upgrade. Competing brands like Apple, Xiaomi, and OnePlus are offering strong flagship alternatives at similar or even lower prices, which could make things tougher for Samsung. Still, Samsung's Ultra phones have always been aimed at people who want the best of everything performance, design, and camera quality. The Galaxy S26 Ultra seems ready to continue that tradition. It might not look completely new, but the improvements show Samsung's attention to small details that enhance everyday use. In short, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will likely be a bit taller, slightly wider, and a little more rounded than the S25 Ultra. It'll look cleaner, feel more refined, and perform better thanks to the upgraded hardware and AI features. The only question is whether all these refinements are enough to justify the potential price increase. We'll find out once Samsung officially unveils the phone next year, but for now, the S26 Ultra is shaping up to be another strong addition to Samsung's premium lineup.